Empathy appears through a process when due to observation and interaction with others, we activate a series of internal answers simulating what the other person feels. Empathy is a capacity that positively influences other competences. Empathy is a process through which we are able to put ourselves into someone else's shoes, understanding his actions, thoughts and emotions. This characteristic in humans has been studied ever since Aristotle as we live in a society that relates in communities. Nowadays its importance in education and professional world is rudimentary. Our mind has specific neurons that explains others' behaviours and allows us to imitate them. They are known as mirror neurons and were discovered by the Italian scientist Leonardo Fogassi. These neurons let us learn through imitation, adjust our behaviours, interpret others' feelings and synchronise our own. Empathy is built around four components. The first one is the perception of others. You must observe and identify motivations, opinions and values of other people. This is always the first step towards empathy. You cannot expect to be understood until you learn to understand others. The second component is the ability to understand the other person. It's not enough to identify what drives a person. You have to understand how he perceives the world and how that motivates him. The third component is respect towards the other person. The fourth and last one is to create rapport with the other one through verbal and non-verbal communication. Goleman established three different types of empathy. Cognitive empathy is defined as the perception of feelings and thoughts of the other person. This kind of empathy is especially useful when developing negotiation and persuasion skills. Emotional empathy is physically experiencing and emotionally feeling what the other person can. The emotional connection established is the basis of transferable emotion and an important capability in managing in working groups. Finally, compassionate empathy is based on the spontaneous feeling to help those in need. In summary, empathy is a key competence in personal development, not simply because of the direct impact on our relationships, but also because without it, it will be much harder to develop associated skills, such as teamwork, flexibility and persuasion. Whatever your occupation, business or condition is, Developing empathy will help you succeed, whether it be from dealing with clients or managing teams. You will create an ideal working environment and perhaps succeed in your next job interview. Aim to improve your empathy by remembering the four components, perceiving, understanding, respect, and establishing rapport. Another approach is to experiment with the different types of empathy, cognitive, emotional, and finally, compassionate.